Okay, let's do an example with a, um, a profit function here. We generally just call these profit functions because that involves cost, revenue, and profit. All right, so suppose you're selling art at a show. You pay a flat $200 fee and have a stand. Uh, each print costs you $5 to produce, and you sell prints for $20 each. Write down the cost function, the revenue function, and the profit function. All right, so first off, the cost function. We need to figure out our... Um, various parts of the cost. We need to figure out what is our fixed and what is our marginal cost. Well our fixed cost, this is money going out, it's a cost and it doesn't depend on how many uh, how many prints we end up selling. So you can see there's a flat $200 fee to have a stand at a show. So that is your fixed cost, it's just $200. You pay that and you can sell as much or as little, they don't really care. Uh, each print costs you two to, uh, $5 to produce. You're paying the print shop to actually go through and print the stuff. Um, or maybe you're having to pay some royalties to the artist, to the person who took the picture if you're not the, if you're not the one. Uh, in any case, this is going to be your, this is your cost per item. Um, they're going through and, and creating the print for $5 and you're just buying it from them. You're turning around and selling it for $20. So this is money that's coming in. This is your revenue. So this is um, R of X. This is part of R of X, that $20. So you're selling these for $20 each, 20 times the number of prints you sell. Um, let's go back to cost, though. I wasn't quite done there. Uh, so cost, C of X, is equal to, well, your marginal cost is $5. So it's going to be $5 times the number of prints plus 200. That's your total cost there. Now you can figure out what your profit is. Your profit is going to be your revenue minus, this is R of X, minus C of X. And I'm doing the 20X in parentheses and the 5X plus 200 in parentheses because it's really don't want you to forget that you need to distribute this negative. 20X minus 5X minus 200. Otherwise you start thinking that you're, you're you know, you start by thinking that you've earned $200 when actually you're $200 in the hole because that's how much it costs to uh, get a stand at the show. So let's simplify this down, simplify this a little bit. Uh, 20x minus 5x is 15x minus 200. So there you go, there's your profit function. The break even point is where your profit function is equal to 0. 15x minus 200 equals 0. Alright, so solving this, we get 15x equals 200. Divide both sides by 15, we get x equals 13.3 repeating. Now, I would actually argue you'd probably want to go just slightly positive here, um, because if you've only sold 13 paintings, well, first off, you can't sell 13 and a third paintings. No one's going to want to buy that partial painting, um, partial print, whatever it is. Uh, so 13 and a third there. Um, I could, you can go 13 or 14. If you're only selling 13, you're still losing a little bit of money. I would probably say 13 or 14. Frankly, on a test, I would probably accept either of these answers. Um, but realistically, you would probably want to say 14. That's That would make the most sense. Um, you'd want to sell 14 copies of that painting before, or of that print before you really get out of the negative region.